Well, I just been listening to a few Arsenal fans. I wasn't going to ring in, to be honest, but I, I sort of listened to it. And all this, I've never called for a manager's head at Arsenal ever in 35 years, going back to Don Al, Terry Neal, George, Bruce Rio, none of them. But Arteta, he's out of his depth. I can't believe he hadn't resigned this week. He's taken wow. us. He's taken us from a top five or six team to a relegation team. And, and any Arsenal fan who thinks we're talking about winning anything this season is absolutely, well, they're deluded. I'm happy if we stay in this division. And, it, and it, he, wow. he's, it's all well and good saying, give him time. And I totally agree with that. Managers don't get time. But in a year, you've got to see some progress. And he has made more mistakes in 11 months than Wenger did in 22 years. He's made catastrophic errors. You won the FA Cup last year, though. Yeah. And, and I tell you, in every game that he's managed, I've watched most of them, and we've had two good performances in his whole tenure. And I don't know why anyone else isn't seeing that. We beat City in the semi, brilliant performance, and we beat Chelsea in the final, brilliant performance. Every other performance... There's not been any, it's nothing. Absolute rubbish. And he is in danger of getting us relegated. I'm telling you, if he stays, he's got to go now. He has to go now. Tottenham will absolutely batter us. They will score six or seven on Sunday. They will, they will destroy us. Son, Kane, Bale, Mora, Lamella. Oh, it, I, I'm not even going to watch it. It will be a disaster. Jeez. This is a disaster. Yeah. Big say. Six or seven, I, easy. I, I think, look, I, I think you're being incredibly harsh here. I, no. I, well, look, I, I've Why? seen... Well, Why? Be, well, because I, I, there are parts I agree with you, but I think you've kind of... It, there are knee-jerk reaction here. They're Arteta, not getting relegated. Arteta, not okay, getting relegated. look, when you say he's taking you, 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 from, you weren't fourth, I mean, I can't remember where you were this time last year, but there's a reason why. But managers... More often than not, not all the time, but more often than not, the reason there's a managerial change is because the team is poor, right? Not always the time the say, uh, that the way, but more often than not. And that's the case with Arsenal. Arsenal were moving in a direction they felt with, with uh, Unai Emery, and it wasn't, there, w- there was no upward trajectory at all. And they, so he's come in. So he's, that's where he's picked up Arsenal from, not from where Wenger was. So I think you've got, you've got to bear that in mind. The, well, the problem the yeah. club has right now for me is the elephant in the room, and that's Ozil. Right? That's another big problem for the club because every single time that Arsenal don't create chances, every single time there's a bad result or a bad performance, a lot of the Arsenal fans are now looking and saying, well, get Ozil back in. I think the sooner they move him on, I think will we'll, we'll benefit the club. I think that'll be a, that'll be a big okay. weight, a big okay. cloud away from the club. I know what you're saying there, but for me, Ozil's the only world-class player in the old club. What well, about Aubameyang? He's not world-class. Ozil's not world class. Ozil's world class. Totally world class. <laughs> he's not. He's simply not. I mean, that's he's just brilliant. Really, he's, he's, he's not his, brilliant. His, ball, his vision, his weight of power. What about his work rate? He's phenomenal. What about his, is his work rate world no, class? He's good in his work rate. I don't, you don't need you don't need ten centre halves on the pitch chasing and tackling. You need creativity. Well, well, there's see Simon. There, right there is your problem. Arteta wants a team that are going to work. The work yeah. ethic has got yeah, to that's be. That's why I don't want him. <laughs> no, but that's <laughs> but, there. But I mean, okay. Why couldn't Wenger get a tune out of Ozil? Why couldn't Why well, couldn't Unai Emery get a tune out of him? I think he did. I think you'll find under Ozil, under Wenger, Ozil had the most assists in a, in two or three consecutive Premier League seasons. But he finished outside the top four. Yeah, we did. But we're, we're in a relegation what? fight now. But what, you're finishing outside the top four, and you're saying he's world class. Ozil's world class, but we're in a relegation fight now. So I'd rather be sixth than bottom four, three. Well, that, that's that's, where we are. That, yeah, well, that's that. That's you can't bl- you can't blame Arteta for that. Well, I'm blaming him because there's been no progress in 12 months. He's taken us backwards. Well, that that's fair. I think that's fair. It's but I mean, Jay, are, are Arsenal in a relegation battle for you? Not yet. No, not not yet. Um, and they and they and they won't be. I mean, there's there's just too much there. I mean, you look around. I mean, Sheffield United and Burnley right now. Are you saying that Arsenal is bad as them? They're not, are they? No. 